everybody thank you for joining me today in this video I wanted to share with you some of my strategies for sell shopping my favorite thing is to get a good bargain so of course I love a good sell so today I'm gonna share with you some of my ground rules for shopping and then what things I'll be looking for on these upcoming sales and what things I will be avoiding. Of course, the Nordstrom anniversary sale is just about over and we're about to get into all the back to school sales and tax-free weekends. So it's a great time to really focus on sales and how to get the most out of sale shopping. So for the ground rules, I like to set a budget, not only for myself, but if I'm shopping for my family, for um, each family member. And of course, the budget you set for an elementary school student is probably not gonna be as much as you would set for a teenage student, in particular, a daughter with makeup and purses and all the things that go along with being a young woman. So think about what is a realistic budget? What can you afford? And what do they need? Uh, there's no need to set a budget greater than what the person in the family actually needs. So be mindful of that. But once you get your budget, then from that allotment, you want to set your priorities. So maybe you have only one purse and it is worn out. Well, then definitely a new purse may be exactly what you're looking for. Uh, otherwise, things are just wants. Maybe you want a new purse to go along with the five you already own. So think about that and think about where do you need to spend your money for sure before you get into the extra items that you want. And Archie just came into the room, so you're gonna hear lots of noises. I did make a few notes so I wouldn't forget anything good. But third on my list of ground rules is to inventory what you already have. And a lot of times, if we have a lot of things, then we may even forget, oh, I forgot I had that black sweater, and maybe that was what you were thinking you needed to go buy this year. So. Look to see what makeup is about to be emptied. Are you out of your favorite perfume? Uh, do you have good basics in your wardrobe that you definitely need? Now's a good time to stock up on them if you can get them at a discount. And then the last thing in my ground rules is to comparison shop. And that would be not only among online vendors and you know mall vendors but be sure you look at your local boutiques because a lot of times i know uh, i am not in a big town i'm in a smaller town and my shop owners have a um, reduced overhead they pay less for their overhead than the metroplex folks who are renting in a mall so i can actually get a lot of products cheaper locally than spending a day wasting my time going to a mall fighting a crowd and getting a so-called sell so check locally and see if you can beat the prices there and chances are you'll be able to so let me tell you what i'm gonna be looking for this sale season. And these are in categories, not specifics per se. So I do cover a few trends uh, a little bit, but for the most part, I'm just gonna talk big picture, okay? So what I'm looking for, the first thing is, I am looking through my wish list see if, to see if there's anything on that wish list that is on a sale. So for example, with the recent Nordstrom sales, um, I keep a Nordstrom's wish list on my login and on there you can look to see what of those items on your wish list were actually on sale. So I could quickly look through and say, mm, don't want that anymore. Mm, already have something similar that I still want and it's on sale. So that was easy to move over to the bag then comparison shop, and then buy it if it was still gonna be the best deal I could find. Be sure you check out your wish list on any of your frequent um, places that you shop. The other thing is to be sure and read reviews. Even if you are 
sure it's something that you want, just double check the reviews. Sometimes they'll mention quality issues, sizing issues, uh, not being the same color as what it looks like on the screen. And anytime it seems that I have ignored a majority of what the reviewers are saying. I've ended up with a product I wasn't happy with and something I had to send back. So be sure you check out reviews. Even if you're purchasing in-store, before you go to the store, you may want to check the reviews because over time, maybe things don't wear well or hold up or... Um, maybe they don't hold up to what's being paid for the item. So you may want to consider all that before you actually make a sale or make a purchase, even if it's a sale item. Now, of course, if you've read the reviews, you've done your research, something's on sale, it's the best price, it's something you know you're going to want, well then obviously go ahead and get it and get it with confidence. Second thing I'm looking for in the big picture is I'm looking for things that are transitional. So I don't want something that I'm just going to be wearing for a couple of months until it's cool weather and then I won't be able to wear again until next year. I'm going to be looking, for example, for things that have layering op op opportunities. So um, tank tops or jackets, which are in style now, the shirt jacket. Uh, that way you can wear the, I'm going to call it a jacket, at night if, if your nights are already starting to get cool. You can wear your tank during the day if it's hot where you are. So look at things that provide some transition through layering. Also, look for items, or I always look for items in the cells that are good all year round. So for example, a good old fashioned pair of blue jeans that fits me well, that is timeless, then I can wear those today, tomorrow, winter, summer, fall, spring, it doesn't really matter. So those are great items to look for in a sale. Look for colors that work year round. Now, maybe you're a person who doesn't mind wearing white all year round or white dress, whatever. Um, I tend to go with the season. So I wear tend to wear darker colors in the fall and winter, lighter colors in the spring and summer. So for me, I want to make sure that I'm going to be buying more colors that are either all year round colors such as a good white shirt or a good black pair of pants or I'll be looking for things that seem to have more of the fall vibe and feel with their coloring and styling and even the texture of the fabrics. And then as far as this category with transitional clothes, I am going to be looking for the big ticket items. Coats, jackets, shoes, purses, those are the things that I am usually looking for on a sale for the best deal I can get. Those are the sort of things that will last a long time and I'll be getting lots of wear hopefully out of them. So if I can get them on a sale, it just makes it that much cheaper to enjoy something throughout the year. Now is also a time to be looking for your holy grail items, things you don't want to be caught without. Whether it's a perfume, a makeup, whatever it may be, uh, pop, um, possibly even like a small appli personal appliance like a hair dryer or curling iron, something such as that. They do wear out or maybe you're wanting a new model, uh, some of the features that your old item doesn't have. Now's a good time to look for those on sale. It's also a good time if you're looking again to restock your items you won't be caught without to look for underwear, socks, lingerie, nightgowns, whatever it may be. If it's a brand that you like or maybe a brand you've been wanting to try out, uh, get it while you can get it on sale. You, you know, if it's something you already wear, you know you like the quality, you know how the sizing goes, so you might as well get a discount so that you can restock. And then the last component I wanted to mention as far as things to be looking for on the sale are trend pieces. Trend pieces, of course, are those items that are in style now but may not be in style, you know, two months from now or three months from now. So if you're going to be buying trend pieces, then you definitely want to get them on sale. Of course, I would recommend that you get them at stores that are more affordable. I wouldn't buy trend pieces luxury at, at a luxury store or high-end store just because you're not going to be able to get probably uh, your wear out of what you paid for it. So 
consider looking for more affordable on sale options. And some of the big trends right now for the fall seem to be big and baggy oversized items. It reminds me so much of the late 80s, early 90s, but you're going to see large oversized blazers that look like you borrowed it from your dad's closet, um, oversized, you know, long sleeve shirts, oversized jeans, just big and baggy. So, Definitely, you're going to want to buy those on sale and at a good price because that style won't stay around for long. Now, blazers are hot, whether they're oversized or a classic tailored blazer. I'm a tailored kind of girl, so I would come near putting more money into a classic, timeless, fitted blazer than to a trend blazer just because I know I'm going to be able to wear the fitted classic blazer year after year after year as long as I don't switch sizes. So that is something to keep in mind. Shackets are also hot this fall. So that is a shirt and a jacket combined. You'll see a lot of them in plaid, but they don't necessarily have to be plaid. But it is like an oversized shirt cut, and it might be a thicker fabric, maybe a flannel. It's something you can wear open over a tank top or a long sleeve shirt, and um, then it's also something you can button up depending on how cool you are. So, shackets are a big one, and again, something I wouldn't invest a lot of money in. Square toed shoes. Oh, wow. I am in love. I think they are so beautiful. I would love a pair but I probably won't be getting a pair and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but square toed shoes are obviously very hot right now and on trend. Also on trend are quilted shoes and quilted handbags. And you know what I'm talking about where there is some dimension, puffiness, almost looks like a puffer jacket. Maybe it's out of a fabric or out of a leather. I've seen a lot of those in shoes and in handbags. And those are the sort of things that won't be around forever style-wise. So get the best deal you can get on those and wear them until the style is gone. Um, also, another trend that is strangely making it around is corseted bodices. You see them on shirts, maybe shirts the peplum or dresses, even floaty dresses. So just a corset built in. Not something that would look good on me, but more power to you if it's your thing. But again, that wouldn't be something I would be putting a lot of my wardrobe budget into just because it's not going to be a long-term piece to hang around unless you don't mind. Now, me saying this, if square toed shoes are your thing and you wear them and I've always worn them and you'll be wearing them five years from now, whether they're in style or out of style, well then by all means, get whatever makes you happy. If you follow the trends, that's when I wouldn't put a lot of money into trends in themselves. Do put money into things you like, you adore, and you will enjoy and relish for years and years to come. Also, let me think of some other trends. Um, checkers are hot. Not sure if they'll look good on me, but that is an option for you as well. So just a few things to consider when you are making your sale purchases. Now, as far as the things I will not be purchasing, the first item on there are the trend pieces. <laughs> I'm not a trendy girl. I'm a classic girl. So I might put a nod to a trend in my overall wardrobe, but I'm not going to probably run out and get any of those trends. Now, square toed shoes, I probably would buy a pair of those. The only problem is I have Flintstone feet. If you know what I'm talking about, they are pretty much square to look at. So that in a square toed shoe is not going to be a look that I want anybody to have to deal with. So I will be avoiding the square toed shoes. But other than that, that would have been my number one trend for the fall season to actually try to adopt and work into my wardrobe. But you, you know, again, pick out what you like, you wear what makes you feel good, but just trend pieces again, if you learn nothing more, try to not spend a lot of money on those. 
The second category of things I probably won't be spending a lot of money on are things that I actually don't need even though they're on a really good sale. And marketers, their job is to make us want something that we don't necessarily even know that we need. So this is where with a sale, package it well, advertise it well, you know, make it an item that is just such a great sell that you feel like you're doing good when you buy it. But really, if it's something you don't need and probably won't even use if you don't have a need for it, then you've actually lost money no matter how great the sale is because the best way to have saved money would have been to keep your money in your pocket. So don't get pulled in by that great sell or, you know, almost giving it to you sort of a thing. They're only almost giving it to you if it's specifically something you need. Otherwise, there is a cost to you and something you do need, you might have to go without just because you got a great deal on something you didn't need. So think about that. That's why it's always good to have priorities and have a budget so that you can not see a bright and shiny thing and run off and buy something you don't need. You can stick to the things you do need. And my third category of what I won't be buying this sale season are items that I will need maybe later. And if you know what I mean, so many of us gals have done it and it is, well, this is a little tight on me, but you know, I'm going to be losing 10 pounds in the next month. So I'm going to go ahead and get it because it's such a great deal. I have found items still with the tags on that I either didn't lose the weight I'd intended or forgot I had it until no longer needed it or by the time I got around to that size it was no longer in style or season or the color I wanted or whatever it may be. So I don't feel like items for later are always such a good Thing. Now, if you need a winter coat and you find one on the sale and it's what you want, then you know winter's probably, you know, going to come. Of course, I'm in Texas, so it might not, but that I feel comfortable in buying. It's like, mm, I'm thinking I might take a ski trip this year, so I think I should go ahead and get a ski jacket. On that sort of thing, I would wait until I know I was going on a ski trip or I had already lost the weight or gained the weight or whatever it may be. So those are my recommendations on how to shop for sales and I am sure you have some good ideas and recommendations as well things that you've adopted and used through the years so if you would please comment below with those so that everybody can benefit from your experience and knowledge and if you haven't already subscribed if you would please do so I would appreciate having you here each week and hearing from you and learning from you so if you would hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and if you don't mind going ahead and giving me a thumbs up because I really need to know and want to know what you like and what you want to see more of and that's a good way for me to learn so Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope this information was useful. And until I see you again next week, have a good one, okay? Bye. <music>